What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thank you so much for supporting Marty Music right here. I uh, really appreciate it. It's a Gear Thursday video, and I went on Reverb.com again. I like, uh, I like the site. You can find deals on there. And I found a very common pedal that you see a lot of players with. I've seen a lot of players with it. It's the Carbon Copy Analog Delay from MXR. Uh, I bought it used on uh, Reverb.com somewhere in the $50 to $75 range. It's an analog delay. What I decided to do uh, was not mess with it before actually filming this video. So we'll just I'll just show you how I dial it in and try and get some cool sounds out of it or a, at least one cool sound out of it. Uh, so let's take a look at the pedal. So one, I am gonna uh, go for a lead guitar kind of tone. So I've got my uh, analog man, king of tone. That's my overdrive setting right there. So I'm going to use that. When I start with pedals, I've said this before, I like to just start everything at 12 o'clock to just give me a starting point. That's what I clicked on in the intro, and it sounded very, uh, lots of repeats, lots of uh, space effects there. <laughs> So that's not a very realistic uh, setting for what I want. I'm going to go for just a nice uh, ambient, subtle echo, like kind of adding like a little bit of a stadium rock echo to everything. So let's, so let's try that. So let's say uh, this one, Regen, that's Regenerations. Let's just see what happens when I turn it down. So the regens could also be considered the amount of repeats. So I've, if I turn it all the way this way, it's going to go on forever probably. So that could be cool. So that could be cool, you know, for a special effect, you know, in the studio or just some, you know, climax of, of something or other. But let's get let's get realistic here. So we've got the regen. Uh, for an ambient sound to add to my lead guitar, one and a half repeats is what I like to go for, which basically means one strong repeat and then one kind of faded repeat. So, so that's one. There we go. That's about one and a half. The mix is how much of that repeat we're going to hear and how much of my normal signal. So if it's all the way over here, you don't hear the repeat at all. If it's all the way over here, you probably just hear the repeat. No, you still hear it, but it's very loud. So let's see. Sometimes you're going to want to hear this within the mix of the other instruments to kind of decide. All right, so now, so I have it right there. Um, the next setting would be the delay, the delay time. And we're kind of going for a stadium rock kind of sound. So let's just play some licks and see what that sounds like. I think I want to speed it up a little bit. So let's see, I'm going to just split the difference a little bit on the delay time. So slow it down a hair. I'm going to turn that mix down a little bit more. I'm going to turn my lead on. Okay, so we're pretty close there. 
Let me turn the mix up a little bit. So kind of uh, elasticizes the note a bit, right? So when I turn the carbon copy off and I have just my lead tone, and I turn my reverb off as well. So that's super dry and it sounds good, but here's what you can add to it. A little bit of my, uh, of my reverb and then I'll add this carbon copy delay here, this echo, and it just kind of adds a little magic to it. So I think that's a pretty good setting. Now there's a modulation button, which uh, I haven't used yet, but I assume it it changes the tone. It adds an effect to the repeat. So I'm gonna hit it on, we'll see what happens. Don't know much about it. Yeah, there's a, mo a modulated sound to it. So I like with a with a good uh, delay pedal for lead guitar like that, it should almost, you should almost uh, only, it shouldn't stick out. The echo shouldn't stick out. It's almost like you really only notice it, notice it if it's not there. That's kind of the, the, the vibe that you're going for. So if I just play a loop and solo over it, let's just hear if, how much you can hear that delay in there. We want it to just add character and kind of almost like a sustain as opposed to something that's really sticking out and note and something you're noticing. So
Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. I'm going to use this pedal, uh, especially if I'm, you know, doing some big kind of lead guitar stuff. Uh, I like it. So they're easy to find. It's the MXR Carbon Copy Analog Delay. I use it for that thing in particular as opposed to, you know, more U2 delay, the edge kind of stuff where you typically want to use something that has a tap tempo. So that's the Thursday gear video. Let me know other gear you'd like to uh, see me cover. And let me know in the comments. And thanks for supporting Marty Music, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. I'm having so much fun uh, making all this new content for you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you again.